Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Easy Tutorials, and for those of you who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. Today we'll be creating this. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to support me on Patreon. You can also get access to all my premium content. In this tutorial we'll be using the Easy Tools script, which is free to download. So let's start. Import the files you need into After Effects. You can download the project files and the templates separately, this way you will be able to create this logo reveal animation even if you don't want to download my template. You can find both links in the description. Create a new composition, and name it, Logo Reveal. I'm using a full HD 1080 pixels preset, with 30 frames per second, and 6 seconds long. Create a new black solid and name it, Background. Apply the gradient ramp effect to it. Change this value to 540. This one to 4000. The ramp scatter to 30. Switch ramp shape to radial ramp. And click on swap colors. Bring your logo into your composition. Pre-compose it and name the new composition, Logo. Click here to make it invisible. Select the horizontal type tool, and start writing your tagline. I am using the Source Sans Pro font family, with bold italic style, and 50 pixel size. Move your text anchor point in its center, and align the text in the middle of your composition. Select the pen tool. Set the stroke to solid color, with a width of 4 pixels. Hold your shift button down, and draw a line like this, a little wider than your text. Change its name to, line. Move its anchor point in its center. Then, right click on your line layer, and select, transform, center in view. Select the ellipse tool. Change the stroke to none. Hold your shift button down, and draw a little circle. Click on, ellipse 1, ellipse path 1, and change the size values to 40. Change this shape layer name to, circle. Move its anchor point in its center. Click here, and activate the rulers. Drag two rulers like this, and try to intersect them as much as possible at the left edge of your line. Grab your circle and drag it here. If you have this box selected, it will automatically snap in its place. Open the scale options of the circle layer, create a keyframe, and change its values to 0%. Move 7 frames forward, and change the values to 115%. Move another 3 frames forward, and change the values to 100%. Select all the keyframes, and easy ease them. Then, open the graph editor, and change these curves like this. Open the position options of this layer, and create a keyframe here. Then, move to 1 second and 15 frames. Move this ruler to the other edge of the line. And drag the circle until it snaps. Select this two keyframes and easy ease them. Then, open the graph editor, 
and change this curve like this. Open the scale properties again, and change the values to zero. Toggle down the line layer options. Click on add, trim paths. Open the trim paths options, and create a keyframe on end. Move to 10 frames, and change the end value to 0%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Then, open the graph editor, and change this curve like this. Now, you can deactivate the rulers, and get rid of the guidelines. This is how the circle and line animation looks. Open your text layer position options, and place your text above the line, around here. Make the logo layer visible, and open its position options. Drag this one above the line too. Move to 3 seconds, and create a keyframe on the logo layer's position. Move to 1 second and 15 frames, and drag it down until it's under the line. Select this keyframe and easy ease it. Open the texts options. Click on animate, and select position. Change the Y position value until your text gets in its final position. Then, click on range selector 1, create a keyframe on offset, and change its value to minus 100%. Move to 2 seconds and 15 frames, and change the value back to 0%. Make sure to unselect any layer, select the rectangle tool, and draw a shape like this. Rename the new layer, Matt. Move its anchor point to its bottom edge center. Right click on it, then select transform, center in view. Bring the mat on top of your logo layer, and change the logo track mat to, alpha mat. Duplicate the mat layer. Bring it on top of your text layer, and change the text layer track mat to, alpha inverted mat. This is how our logo animation looks. Select all the layers, but the background, pre-compose them, and name the new comp, Logo Animation. Apply the fill effect to it. And change the color to this shade of gray, using this code. Duplicate the Logo Animation layer. Rename the bottom one, Logo Animation Shadow. Search for CC Radial Fast Blur and apply it to your shadow layer. Change the center point here. And the amount to 85. Open the layer's opacity properties, and change the value to 85%. Now, select both animation layers. Open the position options. And drag them down like this, until your animation is in the center of your composition. Bring the sound effect into your composition, and you are done. Let's see the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a quick logo reveal animation in After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment.
It would be great to know your opinions on my tutorials. Also, you can make requests for new tutorials, on interesting effects or animations that you would like to learn. See you soon.